Math 155, uh, Section 8.5, Integrated Review. So in this lecture video, I'm going to quickly talk about your horizontal and vertical line. So what is so-called a horizontal line is where y is equal to a particular number. Okay, y equal to a number will always give us a horizontal line. So for example, if I will say y is equal to 3. So what you see here in the equation of the line is there's no variable x. So whenever you do not see a variable x, it's automatically a horizontal line. So since there's no variable x, that means the x values for the line are any real number. It can be whatever number you want them to be. Okay, but the y value is actually locked in at 3, for example. All right, so what that means is, okay, what that means is when we do the x and y table, the y value got to be 3. And that's the key characteristic of drawing a horizontal line is where the y value got to be the same, but the x value can be whatever you want, let's say 1, 0. So when you plot the 1, 3 over the 0, 3, the two points will be side by side. Okay, in a way, it's going to look like side by side. So when you connect them with the line, that's how we create a horizontal line. All right, same argument go with the vertical line. Vertical line will always have an equation that will say x equal to a number. So if this time I say that x is equal to exactly 3, what you notice is there's no variable y. So if there's no variable y, that means the y values on the line, on this vertical line, are any real number. So that means the x value for this vertical line is already locked in at 3. And the y value can be whatever I want them to be, maybe like a 1, 0. So what, what will happen then is when you plot 3, 1, and 3, 0, the two points will be on top of one another. Therefore, okay, therefore, when you connect it with a line, it will be a vertical line. So as a, matter, as a matter of fact, every single point on the vertical line will have the same x value. All right, so let's check it out. Negative 4x equal to negative 12. So if I need to graph this equation of the line, the first thing I notice is there's no variable y. So by memorization, we know this is going to be a vertical line since I don't have any variable x. So if I will solve for x, negative 4x equal to negative 12, if I divide both sides by negative 4, then my x will automatically say x is equal to positive 3. All right, so when I graph this vertical line, I know my x value is locked in at 3. So my y value can be whatever I want. Maybe this time I will pick 2 and negative 2. So if I go plot them, so here on the homework, you will actually enter them. Uh, you actually enter the two points. So when you enter the two points, you got to make sure for vertical line, the x value got to be the same. All right, so if I would go plot this two point, 3, 1, that means starting from the origin, go to the right 3 and up 1, excuse me, up 2, 3, 2 is up 2. If I want to plot this a second point, 3, negative 2, so go to the right 3 and down 2. So these two points on top of one another, so when I connect them with a the line, that's how I get my vertical line. All right. So this example right here, negative 3y equal to negative 3. So since you don't see, see normally when we do graphing, there got to be a variable x and a variable y. So since you don't see any variable x, this is going to be a horizontal line. All right. So... If you know it's going to be a horizontal line already, all right, then all we need to do is key in two points on the homework and on the test. So y is equal to 1. So what, it say, what the equation of the line is saying here, y is equal to 1 means the y value is locked in at 1. x value can be whatever you want them to be. So let's just pick negative 2 and 2 this time. So 
when you enter your points, you will enter negative 2, 1, and 2, 1. But the y value you got to be exactly the same. All right, so negative 2, 1, go to the left 2, up 1. 2, 1, starting from the origin, go to the right 2, and up 1. So these two points are side by side like. So when I connect them with the, with the line, I get my horizontal line. All right, so uh, this is how we actually graph our vertical horizontal line. You just got to see the equation line and kind of remember that, hey, horizontal line, there's no variable x. Vertical line, there's no variable y. Therefore, by the characteristic of the x value or the y value being locked in at a particular um, value, okay, that's how we actually create the horizontal and vertical line. All right, that will conclude this lecture video. Thank you for watching.